Clickbait. Hess is using clickbait again. What's going on guys, Hess here, CollectiveKicks.com and I wanted to bring you guys this video showing myself thrifting through the store but I'm also going to do a picture in picture for you guys so you guys can see me as I'm looking through this because I couldn't do the audio in the store, I had to actually do it later because uh, the sound in the store was super loud, they had really 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 loud music in the thrift store but I also went to the Adidas employee store and snapped a couple photos in there and show you some of the stuff that they had in stock there. So we'll start off there first and then get into the thrifting. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so the Adidas employee store is a pretty fun little place to go and uh, they ended up having a lot of the Parlay Ultra Boost in stock, tons and tons of them in fact, and they were 50% off. I can't believe they were actually under retail. It's actually pretty cool to be able to see that, uh, but they didn't have my size so I didn't double up on them. Uh, they also had the Black Boost of the Pure Boost here and the price points is 170 on those, which is kind of crazy, I don't get that. Also, they had a ton of different colorways of Pure Boost. For 50% off, it's a great deal. I'm a huge fan of the Pure Boost, so it's definitely worth copying in my opinion. They also had these ones in stock as well, and I was actually surprised to see that they were sitting in shelves. Um, I thought that they were hyped up, but apparently I was wrong. Then they also had some colored boost for the XR1s. Uh, retail is 160 on those, but kind of a nice colorway with all tonal gray. Is that even the right word to say tonal gray? I don't even know. Um, then they had uh, some other NMDs there, and they had the 9317s, but they were not half price. This is the craziest looking Ultra Boost I've seen, and this is a Stella McCarthy one uh, for women, but cool looking prime knit pattern on it, and the overall look of them are pretty rad. I wish they would make men's version of, of those, honestly. I would actually be interested. 240 though, pretty hefty price tag on those. And then they also had some NMD R1 PKs that were not discounted. And then there was other ones like the R2s that were discounted, so they have kind of a range of ones that are included and then ones that are not included but but if it ends up sitting week after week they actually do include that discount uh, over time so it's nice to see that when they're available and eligible for discount another shoe that was not eligible as of right now is the salmon color hardened ones uh, for some reason they're not on discount some of the other ones were uh, but these ones are ones that i wanted they also have this really cool nmd um, hoodie that i thought was pretty rad it has like the little notch on it like kind of like some of my tech police have on it and then uh price point was 90 so 45 bucks on the hoodie and then it had like a little logo with some uh, Japanese like sort of writing on in the corner. Lots and lots of originals apparel as you can see. A lot of pretty cool apparel including that camo hoodie that I ended up buying one of the last times. But lots of uh, three stripe branding for those people that are interested. And I think that the apparel side is one of those things that is growing tremendously because of the shoe culture growing tremendously with Adidas. And then they had the velour suit like pant thing sort of thing for the women. Pretty fun. Um, I don't know if the wife would actually want one of those or not. Then they had some EQT sort of um, branding as well for a lot of the clothing. So they had some pretty cool stuff um, that they had at the employee store that are 50% off except for where it says. So fun shopping around. This time I went, I don't have any actual passes to give out for people that have been hitting me up on email and stuff. Um, I actually had to uh, go off of my pass that I have for my work stuff. But transitioning over though, now we are thrifting Buffalo Exchange Portland and this is where the music was just unbelievably loud. And so I wanted to show you guys what they had. This is a, a prime example right there of Nike going wrong um, with the colorway that was not necessarily an awesome shoe. But this is one where uh, I couldn't believe it. So that, that was a clickbait right there in a sense. It was bread, almost breads. Um, and they had them in stock. They were just sitting there on the shelf. And I'll show you them uh, later when we're there. But shout out to my buddy Bobby. He's always rolling with me as I'm. Uh, we go on our lunch break and stuff and go shopping around. They have some D Roses on sale, pretty much brand new. Those things are crazy comfortable. I still have my pair um, and uh, I don't know, they're just really comfortable shoes. Some trainer joints right here and the kind of the Vachetta tan-ish sort of colorway, not really, but uh, $60 is not a terrible price for them. And they're very, very lightly used for whatever it's worth for that colorway. Um, moving on, they had some other things, some random Jordans and then these caught my eye, the fly knit uh, joints right here, the Talarias or whatever they're called. Uh, I always thought these ones were kind of cool but uh, definitely one, if it was my size for like 40 bucks, I would have bought it, but it wasn't my size and it is what it is. Some just random Jordans. And most of the time they overprice the Jordan just because it says Jordan, they don't know if it's worth something or not, if it's retro or a true retro or what it is. So they usually overprice them. Some Hoka's there and some Air Max ones. I don't know if this is um, part of a pack. I think that was a Rio pack maybe. 
Uh, I want to say that was part of the Rio pack. 45 bucks though, meh, it's all right. And then they had another pair. This pair actually kind of reminds me of uh, Skeletor uh, back there and uh, kind of has that Skeletor sort of vibe, but it says damn time. I don't really know what that even means. So uh, that is not worth it. This was pretty sick though. The fact that they had these, I think they're like 30 bucks, dude. Some uh, Dunkman LeBrons, smaller size, but really, really good quality and uh, like hardly worn. And the price point was an, I think this was a steal. Let's double check and see what it says. I can't, my finger is blocking it. Why did I do that? It was a steal. These are the Kukinis, but this is the free bottom ones. I like the OG ones. I have the OG ones in a couple different colorways now, uh, but I don't really like the free bottom ones. And then they had the sock darts in a larger size. Uh, sock darts is another one of those shoes that just totally fell off. Um, win the day, duck shoes, but pass on those for me. But yeah, the, the, the sock darts, man, everybody was all about those when they were limited and now nobody wants them. And this is the returns, man. I can't, so they looked like breads from a distance. I was like, dude, they actually had breads, but they weren't, obviously. They were the, the ones with the two bottoms. 45 bucks on these was actually a really, really good price. They had, um, I don't know, like they're a, a bit of wear and tear on those ones, but for 45 bucks, uh, the retail on those ones were pretty expensive. That was probably the last like good Kobe. After that, it seems to have fallen off pretty hard. Um, some more fly knit options, as you can see, and um, decent like quality on these ones. I mean, de decent wear. They're they're like pretty much brand new, and a, a LeBron lifestyle shoe low top that I don't remember with the red bottoms. I remember the high top one, but not the low top one. Forty five bucks is though not terrible. More fly knit options. Forty eight dollars. I feel like fly knit is definitely gone out off the deep end. Everything has fly knit, and you can buy stuff for thirty or forty dollars with fly knit. They need to come out with something better, in my opinion. I don't know what, but um, hopefully Nike will come out with something. Interesting looking um, pair of Adidas. I, I don't know what these ones are. If you guys do know, leave a comment in the comment section, but kind of a bunch of crazy colors there. And then these, I don't know what the retail is on these, but they were only 22 bucks and uh, they were brand new and they had that crazy wolf on the side. I don't know, CJ, what that is. I'm assuming these are like IDs and somebody added a CJ on the tongue. Maybe I'm completely wrong, but leave a comment if you guys know what those ones were as well. Surprisingly enough, I didn't see any Nike samples or any Adidas samples, and I always run into samples when I go shopping uh, at this store, so it was really weird that I didn't find any of them the entire time. It must have just been the day that I went, I don't know, but hopefully I'll go back again soon and then find some. These ones are brand new, elephant print, $34 for size 12, probably worn once or twice, it looks like, and some Adidas campus shoes and just some random stuff here and there. And uh, yeah, so they had some Adidas Boost back here for $28. A little yellowing on the bottom, but uh, those ones are actually for running. And these ones are the cross training shoes from Nike, 45 bucks on those ones. They look like they've only been worn like once as well. And then uh, top tens, snakeskin. Remember the SL loop phase when those SL loops and the snakeskin dropped? Super limited. Anyway, the, these ones, man, this was probably the coolest pair that I saw in the store. I didn't know what they were. I don't really like the model but the overall like quality of the material was amazing. And the leather and the, the I don't know what these are. If you guys know, again, leave a comment because I don't know what Adidas these ones are, but, um, but it was just amazing. The quality was really, really solid. The color scheme was really solid. I'd love to see that in another sneaker. Um, some Hirachis right here. And then almost the, the bread win number two, but this is actually the Alphas and I was like, wait a minute, there's perforation everywhere on these. I was like, it's a perforated Air Jordan 1, but it's alpha, as you can see in the bottom with the zoom. Uh, and uh, yeah, kind of interesting. They had those available on Nike ID back in the day. That's when I designed my Skeletor Nike IDs in that same exact model. But uh, but crazy that they had the like two different bread-like shoes, but of course, none of them were breads. Then they had the Air Max 90 um, boots, kind of weird. I don't really know why they keep making everything in boots. They made a Trunner into a boot, and speaking of, the Roshi boot, but the Trunner, Jordan Trunners, I don't know why they're making boots out of those. It just seems like such a dumb idea. Um, Hyper Strikes, I thought these were Kobe's from a distance. Uh, they're 30 bucks though, not a terrible price. And then Prestos for women, $40 is a bit a little bit steep though. You can buy those at outlets for that price. $48 for these. I check out the women's shoes all the time here as well because a lot of times um, they have men's in the women's section. And these customs were weird. Somebody tried to make customs out of the tubulars didn't work very well, so they ended up here. And uh, yeah, not not a very good job, my friends. But um, but yeah, those were interesting looking. That I wanted to take a screenshot of so you guys can see them because I thought I recorded the video, but they had some Safari uh, Hirachis that looked super, super sick. 
kind of bummed I didn't get the video of those ones. And then some Oreo Flyknit uh, Air Maxes right here. And 45 bucks, not a terrible price on those ones. And they look like they're pretty new, so not bad at all. They had this crazy, crazy pattern of these dunk wedges for women. And I thought it was kind of a cool pattern. So I was like, man, these are just the whole digital print on them are crazy. And then this is like kind of a camo uh, pair that they had as well. That, uh, I don't really like the dunk wedges though. It's just kind of odd looking. Peanut butter and jelly time. Peanut butter, jelly time. Peanut butter, jelly time. Uh, 48 bucks on those. And then they had some Cortezes. Uh, women's Cortezes. They look pretty fresh. Uh, for the Ultra Cortezes, 28 bucks is a great price point. So this is the last shoe that I saw right here. It's pretty crazy looking though. And it was kind of interesting how it was literally a sock inside of the shoe. Leather, upper, but it's a Roshi obviously. But then they made the Flyknit into a sock. So, I mean, why don't they make actually Flyknit socks? Nike should actually do that. But that is the end of the footage that I ended up getting. Hopefully you guys liked the video. And if you guys like this style of me talking over the video, I can do this more often instead of just doing my voiceovers. Um, because this is a little bit more difficult to edit, but if you guys would rather prefer this, then I'll do this. Most of the time I've been trying to do in-store vlogging, but if the music is too loud, it's just not even possible to do, and that was the case this time. But didn't see any um, samples. I was really hoping to find some. Kind of bummed, but uh, Adidas Employee Store had a pretty good amount of stuff in there, and I didn't find anything thrifting-wise that was in my size. I need to get out and go thrifting more often, though. I've been missing out going to Ross and going to... Plato's Closet and all these other stores, Nordstrom Rack that I used to go to. And if you guys do want to see more of those videos, hit the thumbs up button on this video and let me know that you guys actually want to see more of them. But thank you guys for sticking with the video for this long. If you guys watched the entire thing, much appreciated. And if you guys want to check out another video on the channel, just go ahead and click the screen at this point and you can see one of those other videos. Also, subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Hit the notification bell when you want to be notified when I post videos. And thank you guys for watching. Peace, guys.